The euro and the pound sterling were falling for almost a week. Now we can see some prerequisites for a rise. Hurry with just a local rebound and not a trend reversal. A drop in both currencies turned out to be impressive. What's more, the euro and the pound sterling are significantly oversold. That's why the absence of news led to the existing market conditions. There has been no information about the, the energy crisis in Europe for two days in a row. It seems that the situation has somehow stabilized. However, there is no positive news about gas inventories in Europe. In other words, the situation remains the same. Market participants are likely to focus on the upcoming FOMC meeting. That is why the absence of news from Europe provides traders with the opportunity to estimate the current market conditions. It means that the market may enter the sideways channel. Let us take a look at the trading charts. The euro slid to the support level of 1.1700. After that, the price stopped falling and bounced. Analysts had expected such a move amid oversold conditions. The euro needed just five days to lose 150 pips or 1.2%. This is a significant change in the price in such a short period of time. In this case, a sideways movement could replace the recent technical rebound. If the price fixes below 1.17, it's likely to drop deeper. The pair may even hit a new local low after falling to 1.1664 locked on August 20. At the same time, the pound-dollar pair showed even a sharper decline. The quotes lead to 1.3640. Analyzing the current chart, we can see that the pair may rebound from the support level of 1.3650. The downward trend is still in force despite a short-lived stagnation. If the price fixes below 1.3640, the volume of short positions may increase, thus pushing the pair to 1.3600 and 1.3570 until the price fixes below 1.3640. The rebound to consider as the main trend. You were watching Forex Market News on InstaForex TV channel. We wish you profitable deals and see you in our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.